In this problem, we've got an equation for a circle that's looking pretty messy. Uh, we're going to have to do some algebraic manipulation. We're going to need to complete the square a couple of times to get it in this standard form of a circle so that we can read off the center and the radius. So what we want to do first of all, I think, is divide everything by 2 because everything is divisible by 2 here. So if I just divide both sides of the equation by 2, I would be able to get x squared and actually, while I'm shuffling things around, I'm going to um, rewrite the x stuff next to each other. So this would be minus 8x. And I'll leave a little space here. And then y squared and plus 6y and plus 9. All right, so far so good. Next step, I'm going to take this 9, put it on the other side. So this is going to be negative 9. And over here, I'm going to start working on completing the square. So to complete the square, we take the middle coefficient, the x term here, and divide it by 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. And then we square that to get 16. That negative 4 is going to be the term in our expression here, x minus 4 quantity squared. So this expression is equivalent to this expression. So I've completed the square for the x, but I added 16 here, so I've got to do that over here as well. Now let's do it for the y. So I've got uh, a 6. I'll divide that by 2. That's 3. Square that, that's 9. So plus 9, I better add 9 over here. And then this reduces to y plus 3 quantity squared. So that middle coefficient divided by 2, that's the, the number you're going to get in here. All right, and let's simplify on the right here. Negative 9 and a positive 9 go to 0. So this is x minus 4 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared equals 16. So from this, I know that my center is 4, negative 3. And I know that my radius is the square root of 16, or 4. And then we can just sketch a little graph of this. We would first plot the center, which is at 4, negative 3, so somewhere around here. And then with a radius 4, we would, um, that would be right there, and there, and there, and there. And then we could draw in our circle. So something like that. So that is how to complete the square. Uh, to get uh, a formula for a circle, an equation for a circle in the standard form so that you can graph it.